In Abacus CAE, you can display the free body forces and moments transmitted across a planar view cut. Here are the results of a mechanism analysis of an aircraft landing gear assembly. For this particular landing simulation, most of the assembly components were modeled using connectors and display bodies. We will look at the forces transmitted through the shaft component that was modeled as a deformable body. To do this, I will open the ViewCut Manager and activate the Z-Plane ViewCut with free body resultant force and moment display. By default, Abacus displays the resultant force and moment along the cut plane, acting on the portion of the shaft that is below the cut plane. However, if I show the portion of the component that is above the cut without showing the portion below the cut, Abacus displays the force and moment acting on the visible portion of the model. Notice that the vectors on either side of the cut are equal in magnitude, but opposite in direction. When I animate the analysis results, the free body vectors update automatically. By default, the free body vectors are calculated for the current display group only. If I want to see the force transmitted to the right of this hole, I can do so by removing the elements to the left of the hole. The free body vectors can be customized using the view cut options. Using these options, I can quickly switch between viewing the free body vectors based on cutting through the entire model and viewing the free body vectors based on the current display group only. The free body plot options can be used to further customize the free body vector display. For example, I will show the free body force components. I will choose to use constant length arrows. And finally, I will resize the arrows. Free body vectors can be displayed on any planar view cut. I will quickly create a coordinate system aligned with the upper portion of the deformable shaft component. Now, I can create a new free body cut based on the new coordinate system. Note that if you use a large deformation scale factor, which may be the default if you did not activate nonlinear geometric effects, the free body vector components will reflect the unscaled cut plane orientation. Abacus CAE also includes element-based free body cut methods, which require that I select elements for the free body cut directly. However, when I display the mesh for the part, you will see that the tetrahedral mesh is not ideal for creating free body cuts. To assist with the selection, I will use a display group that exposes the element faces that will make up this element-based free body cut. Notice that the free body plot options I set earlier for the free body vectors on view cuts are also applied to element-based free body cuts. Now that you know how to plot free body vectors, let's compare the view cut method to the element based methods. The first difference, which you have just seen, is that the view cut method allows for arbitrary cut planes, while the element methods require cuts that conform to the element boundaries. To use the view cut method, you must have stress output for continuum elements and section force and moment output for shell and beam elements, while the element-based method requires output of nodal forces due to element stresses. Notice that while stress output is included in the pre-selected output variables for all stress displacement analysis types, section forces and nodal forces due to stress must be requested manually. 
Because the view cut method computations are based on stress output extrapolated to the cut plane, the result accuracy depends on the quality of the stress output. For example, the results are sensitive to discretization errors, hourglassing problems, element locking, and other factors that can reduce the quality of the stress output. Since the element-based methods use the internal nodal force output directly, they are not sensitive to the quality of the stress output. Finally, I will point out that currently only one view cut can be activated at a time, while the results of multiple element-based free body cuts can be displayed simultaneously.